Hello there and welcome to the October 2020 paper. Here we're looking at paper 2, question 13. The function g is defined by g of x equals 3 ln x minus 7 over ln x minus 2, where x is greater than 0 and x cannot equal k, where k is a constant. Deduce the value of k. So k probably refers to this value on the bottom of the denominator here um, that x can't equal because otherwise it will make the denominator equal 0. So ln of x minus 2 will equal 0 for the value k. So let's move the 2 onto the other side and we'll get ln of x equals 2. So therefore now e both sides to cancel out the ln and you get e squared. So e, so therefore k is equal to e squared because that is the value of x that will make the denominator equal 0. Now moving on to part b, prove that uh, g dash of x is greater than 0. So let's do the quotient rule there. If we define the top as u and the bottom as v, then it's u dash v minus v dash u over v squared. So let's write it out then. So g dash of x equals the top differentiated first, that's 3 over x times by the denominator ln x minus 2. And then moving on to the second part, it's minus because there's a minus in the middle here. And then it's v dash, so that's going to be 1 over x times by your uh, denominator, your numerator. So that's 3 ln x minus 7 all over that denominator squared. So it's ln x minus 2 squared. Now with these x's on the on the numerators here, I can actually move them to the to the denominator. So it's going to be 3 ln x minus 2 minus 3 ln x minus 7 all over x bracket ln x minus 2 squared. So effectively I've moved those x's on the denominator to the bottom now uh, on x here. You could think of it as timesing top and bottom by x. Let's now simplify what we've got here. Expand the d brackets on the numerator. So 3 ln x minus 3 ln x, the ln x's will cancel out. And then we'll have minus 6 and then minus minus 7. So that will end us just up with a 1 over x ln x minus 2 squared. So for x is greater than 0, um, well, x is going to be greater than 0, and um, ln x minus 2 squared is going to be greater than 0 as well. Uh, because it's just a squared function, whatever that function is, it's going to be squared. Um, it won't be when k when x is equal to um, to k or e squared, because that will be when the bracket equals zero, and we've clearly defined the function so that the um, so that the function will not equal zero for ln x minus two. So therefore, it's strictly greater than zero. So therefore, g dash of x is strictly greater than zero. So there we are, that's the answer for part B. Part C. So part C is find the range of values of A for which G of A is greater than zero. So for a fraction to be greater than zero, I need, the, need them both to be positive or both to be negative. So what I'll do is for independently, my numerator and my denominator, I wanna find out when they're equal to zero. For the numerator, it's going to be X equals E to the 7 over 3, um, and I'm just going to write down the approximate decimal value for that, so just so I get in my head a general value for what that is, 10.3. And then for the numerator, ln x minus 2 equals 0 is going to be x equals e squared, and I'm just getting in my head what that's going to roughly be as well. So it'd be about 7.38. So when x is greater than um, e to the 7 over 3, 3 
ln x minus 7 is positive and ln x minus 2 is positive as well. So that's fine. That's when our function is greater than 0. And also when e when x is less than um, e squared, 3 ln x minus 7 will be negative and ln x minus 2 will be negative as well. So therefore the range of values for um, a is a is greater than e to the 7 over 3 and e to the 2, so, and a is less than e to the 2. If I was writing this in set notation, I would write a such that a is greater than e to the 7 over 3, union a such that uh, a is less than e squared. Because uh, during those two ranges here, for this range here, that will be when the top and the bottom is positive, and for this range here, that will be when the um, when the bottom is uh, when the top and the bottom is both negative. Now, obviously, we've got a should be um, uh, not anything less than zero as well, so probably might have to include that as well. But there we are. That's the answer for part C, and the total answer there for question thirteen worth six marks in total. There, so there we are. That's the answer for this question. Let's move on to question 14.